They've lost once to Ottawa. These are all teams in the lower part of the standings. So the Leafs, for whatever reason, elevate their game when they're playing the better teams. They, all, they seem to relax a little bit when they're playing the teams in the lower part of the, the, the standings. Boston Bruins aren't that team. The Bruins' power play has been slowing. That will be something that the Leafs will keep an eye on. And without Austin Matthews, the Leafs against Washington and the other players step up. And that's exactly what they're going to need to, to do against the Bruins. This is going to be a tough one for both teams. It's the last game before the break. The Bruins have lost three games. One, they got the one point in Florida. They're not going to want to go into the break down for losing four no. games straight. The Leafs are not going to want to lose to the Bruins because they're like, hey, this is a, a test. They're above us in the standings. We've had terrible playoff success against the Boston Bruins. We want to show everybody that we're better than the best team in the National Hockey League. So it's going to be a challenge for the Bruins. This is going to be a fantastic game. And the Leafs aren't playing their best hockey. They've been a little bit sloppy. Uh, they got beat pretty well by Ottawa two games ago before they beat the Capitals. They seem to put things back together. But they've got plenty of firepower. You've got Marner. You've got Tavares who will be playing game 1001. You've got Willie Nylander leading the offensive charge. Their power play is still if you click with the best in the National Hockey League. This is a marquee game for me. We've got two of the top eight teams in the league uh, going head-to-head. -head. They just happen to be the Atlantic. It's a fun rivalry. It's an original six rivalry. I just have to play on both teams, so I gotta, you know, I, I'm not really sure who to cheer for in this one. All I know, it's going to be a great game, and going into the break, you don't want to lose the last game before you go on a break, because when you're sitting on the beach, the last thing you want to think of is, oh, man, what if I had done that? <laughs> I think what you said is so true because it's, when you know that you're going on vacation, I'm sorry, my mind is already in Cancun. You know what I'm saying? Hey, well, you better not have your mind in Cancun for any of these guys before on this game. That's how you get injured. They're not just going an all-star break. They've also got their, their, their break of four or five days. That's after. what I'm saying. So extended. This is an extended break. I never had those when I played. I wish I did. All right. We'll get you a first-class ticket right after this. I'll see what I'll call my travel agent. All right. Time now for the top.